So what exactly is the Spark? Is it a practice amp? A Bluetooth speaker? An audio interface? Multi-effects unit? Amp and cab simulator? Drum machine? Well, yeah, it's all those things. Today, we're checking it out. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Hope you're having a great day today. We've got a spark in the studio. This is one of the most requested pieces of gear. So we're gonna go through it with a fine tooth comb, find out if it's worth the money. Right, so this is the spark. I'll give it a little spin so that you guys can get a general sense of, you know, the enclosure size, but it is very small and very light, which is good for a practice amp. Now, before we get into all the nitty gritty details and go through, you know, some of the features, um, I gotta say, I like the way they designed the enclosure to look like an amp head, but without any of the knobs on the front. So it's a very clean look and I think it would look great in any room, which is also good for a practice amp because you want to be walking by your amp thinking, right, I should practice. You don't want something so ugly, you know, you have to hide it away in the, the basement corner and you never see it. So this can really sit in any room. I think it looks great and it's a good reminder to practice. Right, so let's flip the amp on its face and take a look at the controls. So let's zoom in and take a closer look. So there's a couple different ways you can use the spark. Firstly, you can use it as a traditional practice amp and use the physical knobs on the unit. Secondly, you can connect your phone and tablet and really unleash the potential of this unit, which we'll show you in a second. But physical knobs, we've basically got your main selector. So you can hook up an acoustic guitar, a bass, and then for the electric guitar settings, you've got you know clean, glassy, crunch, high gain, and metal. Secondly, you've got a gain control, okay? So you can, really take it down clean or crank it right up just using that gain control, just pretty much like any other amp. Then we've got our three band EQ. So bass, mid, mids and treble. And you can see, I actually have most of the bass dialed out of this amp, which is pretty incredible because it's a pretty small amp, but it kicks out a lot of bass. And I find myself actually cutting bass on most of the patches. So, you know, something to know, it does have you know, a pretty big full range sound. Again, we'll listen to it in a second. Then we've got our master, okay? And this is not the master output, but it would be like your master amp control. The main output is right here, and that controls, you know, the main volume of the, the unit. So from the master volume, um, we've got our modulation, delay, reverb, and as I mentioned, the main output. So you can use this just as you would any sort of practice amp, um, really cool. Now. Right on the top face here, you can see, well, it's probably a little bit more than just your standard amp. You've got a tuner and you've got a tap tempo for the delay right there. So uh, if I want a slower delay, I can just give it a little tap. There you go, faster delay and off you go. So that's really cool. And you've got your three, your four different presets, excuse me. So if you just wanna go to preset one, preset two, three and four, and these are built in too. So, um, you know, we'll go into the editing in the future, but if you just want to use it, you know, as a standard uh, practice amp kind of situation, you've got your four presets. From there, you've got your music volume, which we'll talk about in a second, and headphone output, and of course your main uh, input from your guitar. So the Spark clearly does a ton of stuff, including the fact that it's a Bluetooth speaker. So if it's in your family room or in your living room or on your back deck, you can hook your phone up to it and listen to all your music. Heck, you could throw it under your TV and use it as a sound bar. So it's really flexible that way, but the main focus is the fact that it's a practice amp with some really clever and smart features. So we're gonna try those out in real time today and find out if they work well and if it's worth your money. All right, today I'll be plugging into the Spark with my Pauletti T-Style guitar. Let's plug it in and check out some of the tones. Now, as I mentioned, you can use the Spark as you know just a regular physical practice amp but where you really unleash its potential is connecting it to you know, a phone or tablet. Let me try that again. Uh, because it's powered by the BIOS amp engine, which is pretty phenomenal. And you know, when you connect it online, you can get like 10,000 different sounds, which can be a little overwhelming, but they make it really easy to start. So that's awesome. So here you can see 
we've got our pedals across the top, the amp and the cab. And when you click here, you can sort of see the four different channels that are built into the amp right now. So channel one, two, three, four, those are programmed into the physical unit. You can see it's hardware, okay? And then we can change that, make them our own. And there's a bunch of different genres you can choose from. But here, if we're on a crunch tone, let's open that up. So we've got sort of an AC30 type of tone. I'll go to the bridge pickup on my telly. <laughs> And to change a parameter, you can just grab it, maybe add a little more treb and some gain. Love it. So let's try adding a little delay. Let's turn that on. So that's really sweet. Let's leave that on. And we could add a drive pedal in front of it. And again, there's a bunch to choose from. So that's really cool. You can tailor, you know, any of your sounds. And then when you click up here, you can overwrite this so that it will always be on channel two, or you can save a new you know, patch or whatever, you can share it or you can save it to the hardware. So if I want channel two to always be on my hardware, I don't want to carry my phone or tablet around. That's the way you do it. So that's really cool. Uh, let's check out some of the other channels. Let's go to clean. Just see what that one sounds like. I'll go to the neck pickup here. And I should mention, uh, I'm going to go back to something with gain here. Let's go to high gain. Um, there's a gate uh, built in too, and it works really well. So because I'm on single coils, I'll go back to my bridge. If I turn the gate off, I don't know if you guys can hear some of that. And it's gone. So it works really, really well. Okay, so we don't want verb on there, and we probably don't want delay on there either. Let's check that. a Marshall let's take some of that bass down let's turn them mids up maybe a little bit of treble that ah, woke it up a bit so you guys get the idea um, and then there's metal as well um, let's try some of the other features on this amp because uh, let's go back to high gain because uh, there's some really awesome things along here. Now, when you go to your profile, I'm not signed in, but this is the tone cloud. This is where there's 10,000 different sounds. So if you want to, you know, just search like comfortably nom David Gilmore, you know, you'll get that tone. If you want Hendrix, you can get that tone or Clapton or whoever, uh, it's all there. So that's really cool, that's here. And then the music tab is the other area where this thing becomes very, very clever and something absolutely amazing for a, for a practice amp. So there's Smart Jam and then there's just a bunch of preset genres. So if we just go to Blues here and there you go. You control the volume here with the little knob at the top. So it's got, dr oops. There we go. I turned the volume down on my uh, guitar. So it's got like drums and bass for you to jam along to. Let's play that. And then there's a bunch that you can scroll through within that genre. So very, very cool. And how you basically jam along with it is you control your guitar with the main output and then the music with the other knob. And it's just built to be an amazing practice tool. You can see the chords. So if you want to practice rhythm, you can. If you want to solo, you can. And if I want to turn my guitar down, I just use that main output. Just lower that a bit.
and so on and so forth. So very, very cool stuff. Uh, let's go back to the main music tab. Let's try a different genre. Let's just try some rock. There it is. So if you want to practice some of your chords, And again, you can scroll through along the top, you can practice your chords. So man, it's so much more than a practice amp. It's like almost guitar lessons, which is crazy. So let's hit play again. So pretty much drum and bass, pretty cool stuff for sure. Now, when you go down here, there's a bunch of different genres kind of built in. So if you want to try, I don't know, some sort of ballad, doesn't matter, let's just try the first one. It pulls up a YouTube and you've got the chords along with as well. So again, I haven't played this, but anyway, we'll try it. So amazing, right? And then you go back, you can try some other, I don't know, let's just try some random rock thing, classic blues rock guitar. We'll skip ahead here. Let's see if that'll buffer. So there you go. And again, you can just mix your guitar separately from the music, which works awesome. Let's try a couple of other of these features just in real time for you guys. So anyway, there's so many different ones, like it's incredible. So that's awesome. Um, let's go back. Oh no, let's try the smart jam here. There it is. So there's a couple different smart jam features. Let's try them out. There's Dave and Sharon. Dave loves rock and pop. Sharon plays funky grooves. Okay, so let's jam. Okay, so let's, I don't know, let's try this. Let's just go one, two, three, four. Okay, start. Okay. Listening. Please play up to eight bars of music. Smart jam. Oh, it'll analyze your playing. Okay, uh, let's restart that. What am I going to play? Let's just play a few chords. Uh, keep the tempo, sure. Okay, so let's see what it does with that. Okay, it's got the tempo. <laughs> and it got the chords. So I was playing just an A, G, D. So it has it, but it kind of changed it into like, I don't know, some sort of funky calypso kind of thing. Oops. <laughs> okay, well. So there you go, it got the chords, uh, didn't quite get the feel, but pretty cool stuff. Um, let's go back here and check out some of the other stuff. So there's like, I don't know, let's check out some rock tones here. Uh, there's an orange. Again, I haven't used this. I'm just doing this in real time. Uh, hopefully just giving you guys like the raw experience of what it is like to use this. So here's the orange amp. Ooh, let's get rid of some of that verb. Very 
Very cool. Let's try some other stuff. Uh, metal. Oh, here we go. The Mesa. Okay, so thank goodness we've got a gate, because again, I'm still on my Telecaster. <laughs> Man, that sounds pretty good for a telly. Okay, so again, let's scoop the mids a little bit more. Maybe give her some of this action. That sounds pretty dang good, especially in a mix. It might sound a little thin right now, but you gotta think if you add bass and drums. Fantastic. Now, the, let's see if this works uh, sort of like in the like real world. So lots of times people do put a tube screamer or some sort of low gain overdrive in front of their high gain amp. Oh, and that was on. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, it totally works like real life. That's so awesome. So basically, if the overdrive pedal is off and you just have the amp, it can get a little bit flubby and, you know, putting this overdrive pedal just tightens things up. So here's with it off. Now, I like that tone, but if you put it on, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it, but all the flub is gone. So that's so cool. It just works exactly like in real life. So anyway, those are some of the main features. Again, there's so many different genres and once you go to like, I don't know, the tone cloud, it's just endless. Like there's so many different things. I guess I didn't show you guys like maybe some of the pedals. Let's go back to our crunch and let's go to the drive pedals. So anyway, there's a bunch of different drive pedals just built in. Uh, you know, you don't have to buy extra ones. This is all included. So that kind of stuff, uh, we didn't talk about modulation, but they're all there as well. So Friends, Univibe. That's cool. And then a bunch of different amps. Here we go. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I wish I could show you guys all this stuff. But the main thing about, you know, this online stuff is the ability to, you know, jam to backing tracks instantly, to have built in drum and bass, all that stuff for practicing. So that was just a quick look at the Spark and I wanted to keep it raw and in real time so that you guys would know what to expect, you know, if you purchase this amp. So I didn't want to do any fancy editing or any cuts or anything. I wanted to just to show you guys in real time what it's like to use the software and the amp together. And I got to say it's pretty seamless and there's a bunch of stuff I didn't show you like voice control and all sorts of different features but the main kind of core user experience is you know connecting your phone or your tablet to the amp and basically creating custom patches downloading you know if you want to play along to a specific song downloading like like I said if you want to sound like Gilmore or if you want to sound like whoever uh, you can download that and instantly have it you can program four into the unit itself so if you're going to your buddy's place to practice um, you know, it's all right there. And I gotta say, this amp is loud. Maybe we should find out how loud. Here we go. Now I gotta say, anywhere around 100 dB is plenty loud for me. The amp was about five feet from the tablet when I was measuring and everything was absolutely cranked on the Spark. And I gotta say, it wasn't even flubbing out, which was pretty impressive as well. So I think it could go maybe beyond a practice amp to like a small rehearsal amp, as long as you only had like maybe a few people getting together to run over some songs. Uh, if you've got like a metal band and, and your drummer has double kicks and the bass player has a six string bass or something like that and drop tuned guitar guitars and all that. It might not work for that. But if you just got a few people getting together or if you play a genre where, you know, the drummer has a scaled back kit or they're playing on a cajon or something like that and you got acoustic and keys, this would be absolutely fine for small rehearsals um, beyond just a practice amp. So the Spark is going to retail for somewhere around 300 bucks. And we need to ask ourselves, well, 
is it worth it? And to really evaluate that, you have to think about what practice amps used to be like, especially when I was learning. You know, there was no way you could make them sound like your Guitar Heroes. And with the Spark, you just simply download the tone you want for a specific song, and you're pretty much there. You just have to learn the guitar part, which of course is the whole point of a practice amp, to inspire you to play. And the old amps just sounded terrible. The, the verb sounded horrible. If you tried to you know, turn up the overdrive knob, it sounded like you were pushing a phone book through a table saw, just this horrible buzzing sound. You know, they took pedals terribly, so even if you bought a nice pedal, those old practice amps just didn't sound right. And with the Spark, it's like, a whole different ball game. Any tone you want, you can find, and it sounds good, at least in my opinion. Even if you didn't like the tones I was using kind of in real time, you just tweak them, save them to your unit, and off you go. So I think this is absolutely the amp to get for most people. If you're not playing in front of big crowds, you don't need a monster amp. So this thing is small, it's lightweight, I think it looks good, it sounds good, and talk about flexible crazy. So here are my recommendations. If you're in the market for an amp, check out the Spark because it goes so far beyond just being an amp to like a legitimate learning tool. Like I showed you guys, it can listen to a YouTube video and break down the chords and show you the chord shapes. Like that's a learning tool. It shows you how to play the song. Super cool and it does it seamlessly in real time as I showed you guys. Uh, there's no editing. I just simply played the video, the chords popped up and away we went. So pretty cool stuff. And you know, backing tracks for learning scales, the drum and bass, there's a built-in metronome and tuner I didn't show you. Or if you, you know, were gonna buy an audio interface, well, this is an audio interface. So, you know, you could buy the amp for 300 bucks and save a bunch on an audio interface, especially if you just want to record guitars. So, you know, I didn't try that feature out. There's a bunch I didn't, there's so many. But uh, what I did try out, you guys saw, you know, worked really well. So yeah, if you're checking out an amp, I would do this. And the only downside I could find on this entire amp was I don't really like the size of the music knob. I would prefer something bigger like this just for ease of use. That's literally my only gripe. The enclosure looks great. It feels good. It feels solid. Sounds awesome. There you go. Thanks so much for watching. I know you guys have been requesting this since they came out at NAMM and hype and marketing and all that kind of stuff aside this amp sounds good. And if you know bias effects or you've used bias effects, you're gonna like this amp. So anyway, if you're in the market, check it out. I'll link to all the stuff in the video description below. You can check it out there. Have yourself a great week.